Hi folks, Fuzz here, welcome back to Final Fantasy IX here on the PS4 and today we're going to be working towards the Cracking the Code trophy. You can also get it as an achievement if you're playing on the Steam version and it's very simple to do, there's no battles involved, it is just a bit of a puzzle to which I'm going to give you the solution here. So to do this we're going to need to head over to Maiden Sari, right up here on the map. And you need to make sure that Garnet is in your party. So have Dagger in the group, be at Maiden Sari, and let's get on with getting the trophy. So we're going to enter the village itself, and there's a few back and throws that we need to do here in order to get this trophy. It'll take about 10 minutes, I'd imagine. And you can use the speed up function, of course, if need be. And I'm on disc four, if that helps anybody. I believe you can only do this particular trophy on disc four. Now you see there's an NPC down here. As we get close, they run away. Or jump away, or fly away, or something. Either way, there's not much we can do to speak with them. Not yet, anyway. Once that happens, we're going to just go ahead and exit the village completely. And board the airship. But don't worry, we're not actually flying anywhere. What we do want to do is reform our party, making sure that it does not contain either Dagger, Ico, or Amarant. Anybody else will be fine, but neither of those, or none of those three characters. And with that done, we're going to head back into Maiden Sari, and back over to Ico's house, where hopefully the NPC will be back, and this time we can actually have a civilised conversation. So this is Lani, who you might remember back from the story. And we're going to speak to Lani twice. Who hints at something in this small room. So we're going to head in here now. And we'll get an exclamation point uh, somewhere around here. There it is with a bit of information giving us uh, some stuff about our puzzle here and the number 9 seems to be important apparently and the movement of time well that's all very well and good it doesn't mean anything don't worry just copy what I do once we've done that we're going to head out of here and make our way over to the Eidolon wall let's just speed things up again and in here we go and from here, we're going to head over to the right. This is the whole clock, counterclockwise, clockwise thing we were just reading about. And we need to do this nine times. So make sure you turn your speakers up because you're listening for a chime or a jingle as you move across to the right. Don't go too far just until you hear the jingle. Just past the door, in fact. Hear that? That like, boom. That's what we're listening out for. Now we're heading back until we hear the chime again. There it is, and again. There it is, and we're just going to keep repeating this procedure. We need to do it nine times. We don't need to count because the game will tell us. Just don't go much further than the chime. There we go, once you've done it nine times, you'll get this message, HP and MP restored, status effects removed. Our next port of call is to go around the entire room and interact with every Muriel on the wall. So every picture, just approach it. And you could do this previously, but they didn't have as much information as they do now. It doesn't matter what order you do this in, by the way, as long as you interact with every single one. Let's just slow things down a bit so that we don't go past the exclamation marks when they come up. If it will come back to it in a moment, we need to do the others first. We've got both of those yet. Okay, I think we're done, aren't we? I'll just go to the other side here just to make sure. Basically, you'll know when you're done because you can interact with the Ifrit one. 
There we go, which we couldn't do before. And there we get the trophy, cracking the code. I survived the storm. I wonder if you two are okay. I see the two of you smile every time I close my eyes. I imagine I see you when I open my eyes. I have a mortal wound. I won't be able to wait for you very long. I regret being so unemotional for all these years. I'm writing down everything here in the hope that you'll read it someday. This is actually a message to a person called Sarah. It's actually Dagger, who is Sarah. So it seems that that is her real name. And there we have it. The Cracking of the Code trophy on PS4 and on Steam. And the mystery of the idol on wall has been solved. So hopefully this video will be a help to you guys. If it is, don't forget to leave a like and come back soon. And we'll carry on with getting more trophies and achievements for Final Fantasy IX. See you soon. Take care.